Well, hello everybody and welcome. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alex Perkins and my channel is everything to do with mom life and country living. We are now going to go get the chicks. We do have chicks that are about two weeks older than the other chicks. They have not been in with each other, but we are going to put them into the coop together because they are almost the same size. And I think the older girls are going to be all right. So I'm going to set you guys up in the coop. We're going to go get the chicks. And we'll bring them in here. And you'll get to see us put them in here. And they get to kind of explore their new area. I'm really, really excited for them to be in here. They are absolutely running out of space in their brooder box. So the younger girls, so the 20 chicks. So let's go. all settled in their new home everybody seems to be getting along pretty good we got the younger girls over here the older girls are kind of sticking together we are here with the chicks we are in the chicken coop I have a little towel I'm sitting on and I thought I would just do a little bit of an update the clip that you just saw was us putting the chicks into the coop and them sort of exploring it a little bit oh, <laughs> they're pecking me um, so they have been in the coop now for four days. So I thought I would do just a little update. The chicks are now, the younger chicks are about four and a half weeks old, five, probably closer to five weeks old. And the older chicks are probably closer to that seven week old mark. So in our brooder box, the last couple of days that the chicks were in there, the younger chicks, we noticed one of the uh, lavender chickens was kind of not using her feet a whole lot. <laughs> Hi. You gonna hang out with me? For the one of the lavender chicks we noticed was kind of hobbling around a little bit and um, she was falling over a little bit and whatnot. She also was keeping her head like really sunk in and she did a lot of laying like there wasn't a whole lot of like movement we were seeing out of her. So I was a little bit concerned. Um, we sort of just kept a really close eye on her. And part of what we were thinking was that the girls were getting really cramped in their brooder box. Everybody is okay. Everybody's survived. 
that chick. I will try and grab her later. I do know which one it is, but she is doing, ow, guys, ladies, um, she is doing so, so much better. She is moving around. She's holding her head up. She's looking around. She's eating. She's drinking. She's running around, flapping her wings like everybody else. Um, she still holds her neck in a little bit, but honestly, I think she probably had a little bit of an injury. I'm going to say she probably had a leg injury, I would think, because she's doing a lot better now. And I will show you in a moment. Ow! And I will show you in a moment which one I'm talking about. Well, hi! I don't have anything for you, though. <laughs> that is um, what's going on with the lavender chicken. We also have one of them that we are fairly certain is a rooster. Um, it's got the comb and the wattle growing already, and it's already pretty red. It also acts like a rooster, like it walks around with its head up and puffs its chest out and whatnot. So we're fairly certain it's a rooster. It is coming up over here. And the way the tail feathers are growing, ow, <laughs> that hurts. Be gentle. The way its tail feathers are growing also make me think that it is a rooster. So, I mean, that's pretty good. If we have no other ones that turn out to be roosters, that's pretty good out of the 25 chicks that we that we had for it to just be one rooster out of it. They give you a 90% guarantee that what you're getting are females. I think our plan with the rooster will be just to feed it and kind of before they start laying their eggs, we'll pull him out and um, well, maybe he'll be dinner. <laughs> the other update I have is we ordered 21 chicks and I think it was the second night we had them when we woke up the following morning. We unfortunately had one that was a little bit smushed under the heat plate. It wasn't smushed by the heat plate. I think everybody was just huddled up and there was a little bit of a suffocation issue happening. When we found her, she was still breathing a little bit. I'm sorry if the camera is moving, but the chickens are all over it. Um, when we found her the that morning, she was breathing a little bit and she was responsive with her feet. So we took her in, we got her by herself, we warmed her up. It seemed like she was breathing a little bit more. Um, we went back and checked later and she had um, stretched out and I, she wasn't breathing anymore. Um, so that's unfortunate, but they say if you want three chickens, order five. So if we got 21 chickens and we've so far only lost one, I think we're doing all right. Um, I think there it's going to be relatively smooth sailing for now. Maybe that's naive of me to say, but I feel like now that they're in their coop, they're like just have the space to kind of grow and prosper. Um, we are working on the outdoor run, so I'll maybe do an update on that. I've also noticed... Just in the last couple days, like yesterday I noticed this and today I noticed it. But one of the chickens looks like really puffed up. And I don't know if she's sleeping. I don't know if she's scared. This is the one that we think is the rooster. You see how the comb is, is grown and the wattles are already growing and they're going red. That's the only one we have that's going red right now. So that's what makes us think he's rooster. And then its tail feathers are like starting to kind of poke out. This is the one that looks sort of puffed out. She doesn't now. Woo. But see how she's like puffing out her neck? Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on that I guess but you're beautiful so we'll be keeping an eye on her all right so this is the lavender chicken that oh that was a good catch no stop okay just hang on hang on hang on hang on all right so this is the lavender chicken that was sort of I don't know that was um Seem like she wasn't doing too good. As you can see, she's pretty active. Um, she's moving around and, and whatnot fine. So, I don't know. She still stumbles on occasion, but 
she's walking around right now fine so i uh ow i think she i think she is going to be all right whoa <laughs> you guys are feisty that is the update for today i hope you guys enjoyed watching us put the chickens in here and getting a little bit of an update i will do an update again i mean if anything happens i'll do an update uh, but probably not until they start laying eggs. So that'll be super exciting. That's going to be the end of today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.